Hello friends, my name is Raza Masu. Today we'll discuss about a topic statistical independence. Friend, this is a very important topic with respect to statistics. Uh, however, uh, with respect to project management, this topic is also very important. And uh, this topic is mentioned in PIMBOK or uh, PMP exam preparation of Rita Mokai. So friend, uh, we will see this topic with respect to project management as well. However, please note that this topic is statistical independent. It's mainly or purely a topic of statistics. So friend, uh, first of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's start. Statistical independence. See friend here, uh, whenever we talk about statistics, uh, we have uh, we, this topic pertains to statistics and statistical independence means that friend, there if there are two events, so one uh, event occurrence of one event is independent of another event so that is called as statistical independence for example just see these this diagram this is an event a and this is an event b so you can see from here these two events are totally independent independent means that occurrence of event a will not impact or will not have any impact on occurrence of event B. Similarly, event occurrence of event B will not impact the occurrence of event A. So B, both these two events are statistically independent. See, two events are independent, statistically independent if the occurrence of one does not affect the probability of occurrence of the other. So that is called as the statistical independence. See friend here, event A, event B, both these two events are statistically independent. They will not impact each other. Their occurrence of event A will not impact the occurrence of event B. And event B occurrence will not impact the uh, occurrence of event A. So both these two events are totally independent. So that is called as a statistical independence. Are you getting my point? See, just see this diagram and try to understand this diagram here. Event A, event B. Event A and event B are totally independent to each other. Their occurrence, uh, occurrence of event A is totally independent of occurrence B and occurrence of event B is totally independent of occurrence A. So both these two terms are statistically independent and they will not impact to each other. So that is called as statistical independence. Let me give you and try to uh, give you an example. See friend here, uh, uh, if a dresser, you are, if you assume that you are a dresser and you have a draw in which multiple uh, colors of socks are there. For example, blue, brown red white and black okay so each pair is folded together in a matching set are you with me multi uh, you have a draw you are a dresser and you have a draw and multiple pair of socks are there uh, of multiple colors like blue brown red white and black and each pair is folded together in a matching set you reach into the sock drawer and choose a pair of socks without looking. You replace this pair and choose another pair of socks. What is the probability that you will choose the red pair of socks both times? Are you are you get me, uh, getting my point? See, you have chosen uh, you have chosen a pair of socks without looking into it. Okay, uh, without looking into it. So what is the probability that you have to if you have chosen for example if you have chosen the red sock first time what is the probability that you have chosen the red socks again there is a possibility like try to understand here that uh, both events like first event you have chosen then second event you have chosen again okay so let's assume this that event A and event B what is event A the first time you have chosen the uh, socks and even B is the uh, second time you have chosen the uh, pair of socks okay so try to understand that uh, the if you have chosen the first time the red pair of socks 
there is a prob probability that you have again chosen the uh, s second pair of uh, red socks again there is a, there are couple of things to note about this experiment choosing a pair of socks from the drawer replacing it and then choosing a pair again from the same drawer is a compound event since the first pair was replaced choosing a red pair on the first try has no effect on the probability of choosing a red pair on the second try again okay are you with me see uh, if you have chosen a red pair first time and then you replace it and then uh, mix the and then put the uh, red pair again in the, uh, in the in the draw so friend see there is a probability that you can choose the red pair again okay so both these two events like choosing the f first time and choosing the second time both these two events are independent to each other there is no uh, dependency there is no uh, dependency that if you have chosen the red pair again there is there is no probability uh, there is no uh, we can't say that you will not you can't choose it again there is a probability that if you have chosen the red pair again then mix it again in with the pair with the in the, in the draw so there is a probability that you can choose it again so that is called as statistical independence see from here the definition uh, this diagram again event a and event b if event a is that you have chosen the uh, first time the socks and event b is the second time you have chosen the socks so see if you choose the red socks in the first time and then mix it in the draw okay and then um, event b so event b that you can choose the blue socks you can choose the red socks again like it is you can't say that if you have chosen red socks in the first time so there is no probability that you will not choose in the second time there is a probability because because both these two events event a and event b are independent to each other there is no dependency there is no uh, we can there is we can't say that if you have chosen the uh, red socks in the first time so you can't uh, you can't choose it in the second time there is a probability that uh, because both these two events are independent to each other uh, you can see this is event a event a b so both these two events are independent to each other so that is called as a statistical independence in the term of statistics whenever we have to try to understand the concept of statistical independence just see this this just try to understand this diagram as event a and event b see both these two t events are not uh, match uh, are not interacting with each other they are totally independent just that uh, remember this definition these two terms statistical independence event of one uh, one event statistically independent because it will not uh, the occurrence of one event will not occur will not impact the occurrence of second event okay uh, similarly second event occurrence cannot uh, impact the occurrence of first event so that is called as statistical independence more example we can see friend here that landing on heads after tossing a coin and rolling a five on a single sided uh, die both these two events are totally independent they uh, we can't say that uh, like there is any matching there is any dependency on each other these two events are totally independent similarly choosing a marble from a jar and landing on heads after tossing a coin choosing a three from deck of cards replacing it and then choosing an arc egg or as the second card rolling a four on a single sided single six sided die dice die and then rolling a one on a second roll on the die see friend here just try to understand there are multiple choices multiple options are there multiple several examples are there in the world just basically try to understand the concept here friend that uh, that statistical independence means that two events are statistically independent uh, when they are when the event of when when the occurrence of event a is not uh, impacting the occurrence of event b similarly 
occurrence of event B is not impacting the occurrence of event A. So both these two events are statistically independent. See friend here with respect to exam point of view if you are uh, planning to give exam a PMP or project management see friend this topic you can see in the exam and at least three to four questions you can see in the exam of PMP especially or project management so you should have a clear idea about this topic see friend here you just need to understand the concept of a statistical in independence because no one say that you in the exam if you talk about project management uh, no one will say to calculate you the statistical independence they, no one will say you in the exam you just need to understand the concepts and they will give you the different scenarios and ask from you that what is statistical independence and you must have to understand the concept of uh, statistical independence and must choose the right option right uh, answer according to the given scenario so uh, friend statistical independence remember one thing that these are two independent events which are not impacting each other their occurrences are not impacting each other so that is why it is called as a statistical independence so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you thank you